Welcome back to the first, second season of Corey Reed Reads. Now, I've been read Who Said Red and Baby Bird's First Nest already. And now it's time to read the third and final book of the day is Mouse's First Halloween. This is, a, I'm just going to remind you that this story is about that mouse who has been frightened, but not so scary after all. There are some things that mouse is is too is afraid of, but not too scary. <laughs> Let's get started on reading. Mouse's First Halloween by Lauren Thompson, illustrated by Bucket or Dogan. One spooky night, when the moon was bright, Mouse crept around, and this is what he found. High in the sky, Mouse saw something flying. Flit, flit, flit. <coughs> Mouse squeaked. What could it be? Swooping bats. That's all. Not so scary after all. Down on the ground, Mouse heard something moving. Russell, Russell, Russell. <coughs> Mouse squeaked. What could it be? Tumbling leaves. That's all. Not so scary after all. Up on the pole, Mouse saw something flapping. Flip, flip, flip. <coughs> Mouse squeaked. What could it be? A waving scarecrow. That's all. Not so scary after all. Under a branch, Mouse heard something dropping. Plop, plop, plop. <coughs> Mouse squeaked. What could it be? Falling apples, that's all. Not so scary after all. Over near the wall, Mouse saw something sneaking. Creep, creep, creep. <coughs> Mouse squeaked. What could it be? Scampering kittens, that's all. Not so scary after all. Deep in the shadows, Mouse saw something flickering. Rin, rin, rin. Mouse squeaked. What could it be? A glowing jack-o'-lantern. That's all. Not so scary after all. Then on the step, Mouse heard something knocking. Thump, thump, thump. Mouse squeaked. Thump, thump, thump. What or what could it be? Trick or treaters, hooray! And they sang trick or treat, giggle and fright. It's fun to be scared on Halloween night. <laughs> the end. That was amazing about celebrating this Halloween. And I cannot wait for next month because this is my birth. This is my 31st birthday and I cannot wait. So, and when we come back, I like to recap all three books for today. And I'm going to be doing it when the second season of Corey Reads gets back.